Tom P. says, eagerly awaiting you. Jesus Christ. Like some chick with her legs spread. Eagerly awaiting you. Get your ass all lubed up. Just rinsing out my good friend. There's some filth in the bottom of there, some debris. Father hath returned. COVID-19. You know, your name is going to become some outdated once this virus is dead. You know, the, the pandemic of 1919 only lasted for two seasons, and it's never been back. So I think we got this COVID thing beat. Uh, yeah, I, I think by the time people, by the time the vaccines started really getting put out there, the thing was already on the decline. Have you ever tore your bicep? No, but I injured it. I don't know. Big J's coffee mug just said, thank you, father. I had to, I had to clean him out. I gave him an enema. Father, did you get your vaccine? No, I'm not going to get a vaccine unless the government makes me. Um, Joe Biden would have to sign an executive order saying that interstate truck drivers cannot cross state lines unless they get vaccinated. That is the only way I'll get one. Uh. Jay, is it legal to drink in your rig? I'm drinking right now. It's just up, it, 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 leave it up to your imagination what I'm drinking. I'm drink, I always say I'm drinking, enjoying my coffee. <clears throat> but um, I'm assuming you were referring to alcoholic beverages. Um, it's, it, 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 it's, I guess it, the only way drinking in a rig would be legal is if you're parked on private property. Kind of like, you know, private property in your car. You, you can sit there and get drunk in your front seat of your car. As long as you're on private property and whoever owns the property doesn't care. <clears throat> Get the Pfizer vaccine. It's safe. I don't want the vaccine. I, I want my natural immune system to, to, to be strong. That way, you know, 10 years from now, if another pandemic swoops through, you know, and it, it starts killing off people that got the vaccine, I'll be one of the strong ones. Do you throw away them empties before you drive? I'm not going to answer that question because uh, that would incriminate myself that I did something wrong. <clears throat> so I'll say it this way. If I had it, it at, at the end of the night, if I had a, a, a pile of empty Pepsi cans sitting next to me, yes, I would throw them in the garbage before I moved the vehicle. <sighs> yeah, I heard India is pretty bad. Advice on shoulder pain when lifting overhead. Don't lift overhead. <clears throat> fake India crisis. I don't know if it's fake. For for people that get really sick on the on from the COVID, it's very real. But ninety nine percent of us are just gonna fucking not get really sick. Well, that number might be a little wrong, but you know what I'm saying? It, it, if you don't need to be hospitalized, it wasn't that serious. So you should let your natural ant antibodies fight the war, win the war, and become stronger. 
father, thoughts on COVID escaping from a lab in China? Yeah, uh, pretty much for sure. We just don't know if it was malicious or not. Could have been an accident. But there's no way that virus came from a wet market. There's, there's too much evidence that that couldn't have happened. <clears throat> they, were, they were playing around with it in the laboratory. And either, either a lab technician infected themselves on accident and didn't know it, or maybe the sinister Chinese Communist Party did it on purpose, but I, I don't know. It, a, lot of, a lot of very level-headed, intelligent people really think it was probably a fucking accident. But it definitely came from a lab. That wet market bullshit was, was, was all fucking the CDC trying to cover up for China who fucked up. Oh, Zach says, let the world burn. What's going on in North Carolina right now? Are they rioting yet? Because of that, um, uh, they released that uh, body cam footage today, I believe. <clears throat> Father, thoughts on rebirth of the Genova online? You know, someone sent me a message today, a direct message that Jane found out about it and uh, put a stop to it. And Jason won't be filming with Cassidy anymore. You know, I never know when I get messages from trolls if it's the truth or not. Uh, <sighs> Jay, what's the worst car accident you've seen on the road? Um, I saw a fucking uh, car. Guy must have, I didn't see that it happen, but I drove by it. And uh, I really haven't seen anything that bad actually happen. Um, but I drove by, you know how sometimes on the expressway traffic will come to a stop? And uh, if you're looking at your phone and you look up and all of a sudden everybody in front of you, in front of you is stopped and you have to hit the brakes real hard. Well, anyway. That must have been what happened because this car went underneath the rear bumper of a tractor trailer and the rear bumper of the tractor trailer was sitting inside the car right where the Vic, right where the driver's head probably used to be. I, I'm pretty sure that was had to have been a decapitation. <clears throat> the car went right under that rear bumper. feel bad for the truck driver imagine getting out of your rig going back to see if the person's okay and fucking their head is missing oh. thoughts on kgb father i'm sure they exist i've never met any of them they don't have any reason to fuck with me because i like putin <clears throat> The only Russians I don't like are the Russian mafia. And I'll bet Putin doesn't like the mafia either because, the you know, the mafia can interfere with government control. Dictators try and squash other organizations that become powerful. Father, change your name to Stalin. Uh, Stalin sucked. Oh. 80% of jobs becoming automated? Yeah, that's... What are they going to do? Like, let us all sit at home and then we just get a government check once a month, like welfare? That's probably why they want to get rid of the middle class, because poor people love it.
Poor people don't want to go to work and, and still be poor. They'd rather sit at home. But middle class people who are actually making a decent living, they're not going to want to take a huge pay cut to sit at home. Uh, that's why they want to take away all the fucking assault rifles. Where's all the money going to come from to, to pay everyone to sit at home and do nothing? Print it. Yeah, I guess. Who says I lost 50 pounds? I didn't lose 50 pounds. <clears throat> I weigh the same. I just got skinnier legs. Oh. I haven't lost any size on my chest. Uh, obviously, the strength is gone. But uh, my last chest workout, I did 225, two plates on each side for uh, five sets of 10. And then I went to the uh, decline and I did 225 for three more sets of 10. So I basically just a high volume chest routine <clears throat> sets of 10 with two and a quarter. So you can maintain size with that workout. You can't maintain strength, but you can maintain size. Elon Musk wants to get rid of truckers. Well, I'm sure he does, but. Two people just died in a Tesla self-driving car just the last week. I heard about it over the weekend on the, um, so I don't think the public is ready for self-driving trucks. Would you guys feel safe with self-driving trucks out there? Tesla hit a tree. Yeah, see. Did you get the free government hot lunch in school like Mack Truck and the rest of the Porchies did? No, I did not get free hot lunch. But, <clears throat> you know, I'm not really opposed. You know, I, I might be a, a pretty, an, I, I'm, so, I'm an anti-welfare guy. But you know what? I think, I think we can afford to give kids a free lunch at school. You know, a little bit of socialism isn't bad if, if, if you're feeding a hungry kid whose parents are dirtbags. <clears throat> I, I, can, I can let that little bit of socialism slide. No kid should go without lunch. I know you guys weren't expecting to hear that out of me, but I, I do believe that. Should I buy a V6 or a V8? I don't know what kind of car you're talking about. Yeah, nothing, nothing quite feels like an American V8. It's just a different kind of feel. Even like a big Mercedes, you know, with a V8 doesn't feel the same. <laughs> Lots of food in Africa. No, there's not. 
There's no fucking water in Africa. <clears throat> These people should have moved 70,000 years ago when the white man did. Hit the bong, Willie. I wish I could. Jay, if you couldn't be a trucker, what would you be? Um, probably a porn star or a model or Olympic swimmer. What was the last movie you watched? Fuck, I haven't seen a movie in a long ass time. I couldn't tell you the last movie I watched. Give us your thoughts on na on reservations and Native Americans, Jay. Uh, personally, I think we should tear up all the treaties. Those people have had long enough to get their shit together and get jobs. You know, you, you drive through a fucking reservation and there's nothing but goddamn double wide trailers like Dale Chance. And they got a fucking speed boat. And a, they got a bass boat in the fucking driveway. You know, that's the thing about fucking Indians. You know, they, they claim to be these fierce warriors with their connection with nature while, while their bass boat sits in the driveway rotting away from not being used, they're all, all inside getting fat playing fucking video games. Dale wanted to be a PM, so he crashed into a porch, unfortunately. You know, I wonder if Dale's ever been back to that house to apologize to those people. <clears throat> I'd like to use my investigator skills and uh, roll up on that house, knock on the door and interview that couple that Dale jumped his Mustang into their house. That little prick, he probably ne has never been over there to say he's sorry. And honestly, you know, they probably had to come up with their insurance deductible to pay for all that damage. The homeowner's insurance, isn't the deductible, you know, what, a thousand bucks? Think Dale paid that, Mr. Hundred Grand a year? Dave Palumbo apologized for him. <clears throat> Jay, is Michael Moore your brother? Yeah, he's my twin. Favorite fast food place? I'd have to say Taco Bell. <sighs> Jay, why don't you become a private investigator? Oh, I'd be real good at it because I fit in so well. Could you see me wearing like a trench coat, a hat, some glasses? Maybe a fake mustache, trying not to be noticed. <clears throat> what was it like growing up in the mean streets of Troy, Michigan? Yeah, it's a bunch of spoiled brats, man. The economy, the economy in the Detroit suburbs when I grew up was fucking awesome. <clears throat> if you couldn't make a decent living in the 1970s in the Detroit area, you were a complete loser. No way could Jay go undercover. No, absolutely not. Imagine me trying to be a narcotics officer. Wouldn't work. They would, they would smell a cop a mile away and I'd wind up dead.
your breath and B.O. I brushed my teeth this morning, Brad. It's always the last thing I do when I leave a hotel room is brush my teeth. <sighs> no one would suspect you're a cop. You're drunk all day. Uh, that's funny. Thoughts on MS-13? They're fucking scary, bro. See? You, you know why MS-13 is scary? Because those people, they have no fear of, of, of doing life in prison. For them, life in prison is like vacation. So they will slit your fucking throat leave you to die without even fucking thinking about it because if they get caught and they take and they take the fall and they go to jail and they don't they're they're a hero they got they got it made in prison if they killed somebody for the fucking gang i don't know how we could ever def defeat them I have no idea. Well, the reason I just said that is in case anyone from MS-13 is watching, I don't want them to come after me. Lenny wants Cassidy's girlfriend. Lenny loves other people's pussy. Lenny is always, always down with OPP. I don't care who it is. Remember he liked fucking um, Cornelius's wife. Lenny gets a boner for the taco queen. Len Lenny is not turned on by women unless unless they're involved with someone he's friends with. Lenny gets aroused uh, being around OPP. What's OPP? It's a song. Um, I'm down with OPP. You know me. Um, some people think it, it means other people's property. Some people say it means other people's problems. But it, it's basically um, uh, somebody else's woman. OPP. So if you're down with OPP, that means you want to fuck your buddy's girl. Naughty by Nature. It's a pretty good fucking song, actually. <clears throat> Lenny's just a charmer. He knows how to flatter the the gals. Yeah. Like when he told Cornelius' his wife, you're so beautiful you could be a tranny. He's a real charmer, isn't he? Cassidy likes to drink Asian squirt juice. Ugh. I don't know. I don't want to give Aunt Cassidy too much airtime on my live stream. Because <clears throat> if Jane really did put the kibosh on Jason filming with Cassidy, we won't be seeing too much of him. So I don't really want to get too involved. Cassidy didn't betray me. Oh. I'm still fi try just trying to figure out the fucking teenage girl drama between him and Cassidy. and Or him and Johnny Bravo. And 
Johnny Bravo has that fucking um, Eric Cuck on his side. And then Cassidy has that Alex Cuck. It's really fucking weird. Four men. Don't get it. Eric got screwed. Bravo is a greasy Dago Guinea Goomba greaseball. No, he's not. He's a fucking... John Brody is a fucking Arab. He's not a fucking Goomba. Big Rob Fitness exposed John Brody for who he is. Did you guys see that um, um, Savage Psycho Joe is back on Instagram? Amazing. Savage Psycho Joe, it, 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 it probably for me, one of the, one of the, my favorite people in the Genova Genova verse to watch when, when he's, when he's in a manic rant and he's spazzing out, it, it's, it's almost as good as getting loud in the city by big Rob. It, 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 it loud in the city is a 10, which it is loud in the city. That, that epic rant by big Rob, that, that is what all men should be judged by. That that to me, I can't think of a better one. I mean, that that's just awesome. And um, Savage Psycho Joe, he 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 he, he provides nines. Waterhead rant was up there. What's a waterhead? I need to watch the loud in the city. I don't know where it is. Maybe Chuck E. G's ranch has it. You getting stuck on the decline is the greatest ment ever. <laughs> that happens all the time, actually. Uh, just about every time I decline, it just doesn't get filmed because <clears throat> Brad kicked me out of the misfits. I wish Brad wouldn't have kicked me out of the misfits. Dave Clark just said, love him or hate him. Jay's a great ambassador for free speech. Says it how it is. He's the most consistent of all the misfits. Yeah, I I, I try and be consistent. Thank you for the compliment. I, I do try and be consistent. You know? <clears throat> This isn't funny. I can't get out of here. Ah, Jesus Christ, I'm falling. Yeah, that's the decline. That was great. You can't even get Lenny to get in the decline. Lenny's mobility is so fucking bad. Watching Lenny try and get in a goddamn hammer strength shoulder press machine is funny as fuck. I admit it. My mobility is, is pretty terrible too, but I don't really become humorous until I'm in a decline bench. Whereas Lenny is funny as fuck getting in a goddamn military press where he's fully upright and, and should have all of his coordination. 
Father, thoughts on Jason's ex, Cynthia. I hate her because she never sucked my cock. Father, please answer. How often take a week of rest or deload week? Uh, I don't believe you should ever take a week of rest. But um, <clears throat> I definitely believe in a deload. I think it depends on the program. Um, I, I've been on some on, on some pretty hard um, programs before, where where after after the eighth week of, of training, if you don't do a deload, you're going to start losing strength. So I think it depends on the program, but I I would say um, every two months would probably be pretty safe. You go balls to the wall for eight weeks in a row. You need to, you need to, you need to come in there for, and, and don't take any time off. Just go to the gym and, and, and lift light and goof around and let everything heal up, do more reps, get a pump, walk around like Jason. <clears throat> Don't worry, you'll get stronger that week. The deload is really more for your central nervous system um, than, than, than your muscles and tendons and ligaments. Your central nervous system gets fried. And if, if you keep training, eventually you're going to be struggling with weights that used to feel light for you. I would say once every eight weeks would probably be a good idea. But that might be too much. I mean, if you if you do four a year, that's once every three months. I think that, that might be a safer, safer guideline. Do four deload weeks a year. And and when I say deload. Um, you know, you, you fool around with what you go in the gym and just fool around with about 50% of what you normally do. Like, let's say, let's say you're a four plate squatter. You know, normally you go in there and you, we, we can do squat or deadlift. Let's, let's say you're, you normally your workouts are, are, are getting a, a few reps or even a lot of reps with four plates. So on your deload week, you come in there and, and, and goof around and do the same workout with, with two plates so that you're really not working out. You're just kind of goofing around, but you're still um, you're still performing the exercise. So it's like active recovery. Because trust me, I don't care how strong you are. If, if you if, if you go in there and goof around with 225, you're not going to lose any strength. I don't care if you squat 700 pounds. If you take a week where all you do is squat 225, you're not going to lose any strength. Oh. Thoughts on injecting crack versus smoking. I don't think you can put crack in your in your arm. Crack's got too much bullshit. That could probably I don't know the the I don't know the science, but I wouldn't want to go cooking up crack and, and shooting it into my vein. If doing you'd rather if you want to shoot cocaine into your vein, you, you want a free base. You want to take powdered cocaine and, and boil it in a spoon. <clears throat> you don't know science. Well, Dave told me. You can shoot crack, you can. 
That's scary. What if the PM that cooked up your fucking crack mixed in a little fucking, you know, powdered laundry detergent? What if you got some Clorox or some Tide in your crack? Smoking, it's one thing. Put it in your goddamn arm. Totally different program. Uh. Father, best oral in your opinion? Uh, dude, I... Tell me how you're going to beat D-Ball. Tell, tell me what's better than D-Ball. I mean, some people are going to say Anadrol, but you can't control the side effects of Anadrol because um, AI doesn't work with Anadrol. Um, you can't say Winstrel because Winstrel fucking makes your joints hurt so fucking bad. Uh by the time you start getting any gains, you got to get off it. Anavar is is a pretty good oral. It's just so weak. I mean, uh, what else? Halotestin. It really is an anabolic. Uh, what else is there? There used to be Prima Bolin orals back in my day. We used to, I, I, I got some uh, Primo 50 tablets back in the day that were fucking nice. But you really can't beat good old fashioned Diana Ball. Like, if you, if you really go back to basics, the best cycle it, it, it is is probably test, DECA, and D-ball. You know, obviously, unless you're getting ready for a contest. And that's a, that's a totally different ball game. But if you just want to do a cycle, to, how can you beat test, DECA, and D-ball? And, and if you don't want the side effects of the DECA, test, Equipoise, and D-ball. But see... Uh, DECA is, is kind of like Anadrol. AI doesn't work with DECA. That's why you should never mix DECA and Anadrol. Bad combination, because neither one of them respond to AI. So, whenever you're planning a fucking cycle, if, if you're going to mix multiple compounds, you only want to pick one compound that doesn't respond to AI, like uh, DECA or TREN or Anadrol. There's a couple more, but DECA, TREN, and Anadrol are, are the big three that, that don't respond to uh, AI. So those should never be stacked together. And I know, the, I've never, I've never, I've never stacked um, Tren and Anadrol. I've done, I've done Tren and D Ball, and I've done Anadrol. I have done Anadrol and Deca, breaking my own rule. Um, and I've done Anadrol and EQ, but but the only fucking crazy sick combo I've never done is I've never done Trin and Anadrol, which is supposed to be the sickest combo there ever was, according to Kevin Lavroni. He, Kevin Lavroni swore by Trin and Anadrol, but Kevin Lavroni is a freak. Eh. I, I I can't even barely handle trend at my age. Uh, I'll just stick to doing Primo, EQ, every once in a while a little DECA. 
girl cycles. Girl cycles work for me. Lavrones, no Dorian Yates. That's true. But Kevin Kevin Lavrone or Lavroni, I don't know how to pronounce it properly. Um because he's a PM and, and that's an Italian name. He that guy was runner up at a bunch of Olympias, and he just had the misfortune of coming in at, at, at the the tail end of Dorian's career and at the beginning of fucking Ronnie's career, you know, like Dale chance is known for fucking third place at local shows, which is laughable. Um, Kevin Lavroni is, is known for second place at the Olympia because, because he, he, he came up through the ranks when Dorian was in his prime. And, and then he, um, Wound up, you know, re retiring when, when I think Ronnie was in his prime. So hats off to Kevin Lavroni, man. I, that dude's, that dude had a, I like Kevin Lavroni because he was strong. Bodybuilders that can't push no goddamn weight are bullshit. Yeah, Kevin was a beast. It and and Kevin didn't use piss poor form like fucking uh, Branch Warren. Branch Warren, everyone thinks Branch Warren is so fucking strong, dude. If you watch Branch Warren videos, he he does Lenny reps. He he looks like Dale Chance. This little midget guy doing fucking half reps. I don't care how much weight you got on the bar. If, if you're just bouncing half reps going like this, never never stopping, come on, man. Lenny calls that constant tension. I call it bullshit. Branch Warren has to be the worst lifter I, I think I've ever seen. Father, does Ronnie Coleman have the best back ever? I don't know. I, Dorian had a fucking crazy back. Because oh, Dorian did his, his rows wrong. But that, see, that backs up my point. Dorian had the best back ever. But he still did his rows wrong. So if you're going to copy the way he did his rows, thinking you're going to have a back like his, I got to remind you, you're no Dorian Yates. Just because it worked for him doesn't mean it's going to work for you. You need to do it like the great ones that came before Dorian, like Arnold, Franco. It worked for Lenny. Uh, Lee Priest had the best arms, father. Dude, short people don't really count. Because somebody short, like, like Dale Chance, you, I, you, you could, you could um, feed Dale Chance some D-ball. And, and and make him go mow a lawn with a with a push mower, and and Dale's gonna look like look like he just pumped iron. Dale Dale could get bigger, fucking cutting the lawn. That that that's the midget genetics. Yeah. Marcus Rule, he, he was a big fuck.
MD wants to know about the Wolverine Watchmen. I don't know. They never contacted me. Yeah, midgets and dwarves don't count. Paul Dillett had huge arms. Yeah, I remember Serge Newbray. Now, what you guys are hearing from my tablet, because I run my electronic logbook on my tablet, it was just warning me that I needed to go off duty. Even though I'm sitting here not driving, it warns you when, when you're approaching um, your end of your day. It has nothing to do with your pay. It, it is, it, it, it's just legal beagle bullshit. You basically can can only be on the clock 14 hours a day and you can only drive 11 of those hours so trust me i'm not in violation Take a 454 Cassell and re-stamp it into a 410 slug. Well, MD, you've been you've been listening. Or is that advice or is that a question? Is that legal for a gunsmith to re-stamp a gun? If I bought a double rifle in 454 Cassell, could I take it to a gunsmith and say, hey, grind this down? You know, maybe build the material back up with a little welding, then grind it flat again, and then restamp it 410 slug. Is that legal? Why not? Sand off the serial numbers. That's not legal. Oh, Grace Wolf in the house. What's up, Gracie? Who changed your diaper today? Grace calls me uncle. Grace, call me Uncle Pooh Bear. Remember that? Remember that time when I when I brought you the Pooh Bear and, and Piglet dolls, and I asked you to show me on the doll where you wanted me to touch you. <laughs> Grace says that was wild. I brought um, Grace the stuffed animals, uh, you know, from the Winnie the Pooh gang. Uh, you know, I, I handed her a little piglet. I said, Grace, sh show me where you want me to touch you. And, and she got incredibly violent and, and jabbed her finger into where an asshole would have been on that little poor little stuffed pig. I felt very uncomfortable.
What are water? Oh, waterheads are retards. Okay, I get it now. Waterheads are basically window lickers. Do you remember Michael Francois? No, I really don't. I don't know who that is. <clears throat> Guaranteed next live, there will be like 10 Gracies in here. <clears throat> See, whoever, whoever this troll is, who's playing the, the role of Grace Murray, has really, like, taken the Genova verse to the next level because I can have a conversation with a troll named Gracie, Grace Wolf, and I'm not, I'm talking to a troll. I'm, I'm not talking about Brad's daughter. And that's got to make Brad so motherfucking pissed off. I don't even know if Brad knows about him. Does anybody even know if Brad knows there's, there's a troll running around with his daughter's name? Thoughts on a clear butt plug. That's gross. You you don't want to see inside that asshole. Ugh. No. Don't get a clear butt plug. Oh my god, Zach, the guy with the swastika next to his name, said Valerie uses a strap on on Grace. See, I can read comments. There's nothing Brad can say or do about it. Grace just said, yes, she does. Jesus Christ. Right. C comments comments to a troll account are are not admissible in court. It'd be like if we had a troll on here um, named Barack Obama or, or George W. Bush. I mean, you you can't hold what the, someone would say to a troll named George W. Bush or Barack Obama as a credible threat to, to, to a president of the United States. So we can say all these things we want to um, because we know this person isn't the real Grace Murray. It's still funny as fuck. Sure, Brad doesn't like it, but fuck him. We could have put an end to the month. We could have put an end to this months ago if he wasn't such a bitch. What about Slick Willie Clinton? Right, but you know what I'm saying. So sad you miss Brad. Eh. I'll tell you what. Here's the deal. When I first started watching Misfit videos, 
Brad had short hair, and he was he was he was hiding Jason Genova's clothes while Jason was in the locker room posing. And I thought Brad was a fucking little asshole for making fun of a retard. And I really didn't like Brad. And the old days at World Gym when Brad was all about Bernie Sanders and used to trash me and Lenny talking about our guns and our God. And, and, and so whatever. Maybe the new Brad has won a lot of you guys over, and that's why you're sucking his dick. I know, I remember the old Brad that, that was a Bernie, was a Bernie bro in, in hiding Jason Genova's clothes like a fucking complete fucking asshole. I mean, who does that? I personally wouldn't touch Jason Genova's clothes. Might catch something. So, you guys think I'm all butthurt that Brad, Brad won't allow me to go to his house. If you go back to when I first started filming with the Delray Misfits, I wasn't hanging out with Brad anyway. I didn't like Brad. Brad changed. And I started to like Brad. And then I really can't pinpoint what happened. Um, I'm not saying Brad changed back to the old Brad, but that's the excuse I'm going to use. Father, who was the most athletic NFL player of all time? Charles Woodson. Raiders. Super Bowl. Michigan Wolverines. Played defensive back and wide receiver. Ran back kicks, ran back punts, won the Heisman Trophy. You want, you want to argue? I'm saying Sir Charles right now. Charles Woodson, most athletic NFL player. Not, you didn't say retired. Mark, really on Synthol? No. Where is Mike Pancake? Nobody has heard from him. I haven't either. Painkiller got deleted. I can't take Radley's constant moaning and groaning about everyone and everything. I, I don't know. Thoughts on Buffalo Bills. I liked them when they had O.J. Simpson. <clears throat> I remember when I was a kid, Buffalo Bills had a quarterback. I think his name was Jay Ferguson. If you're a real Bills fan, tell me if I'm right. I just remember being a kid in the 70s, having a football card. Who was the Buffalo Bills quarterback? I thought it was Jay Ferguson. Did you hear about the rear suspension on the new Dodge Ram? Yeah, it's awesome.
Mark looked like a string bean and his arms were potatoes. Uh, you, you know, when, when it comes to Synthal Mark, who's a great guy, love the guy. He, you know, he's a chronic masturbator. Um, but what, whatever. Um, no, a, a good human being, a good person. Um, but jacked off way too much. Um, I never saw the guy train heavy back, ever. All he did was chest, delts, and arms. So, he was basically all show, no go. Would you superset skull crushers with tricep kickbacks? No. Um, dude, I'm, I'm, I'm a little bit old school when it comes to supersetting um, tricep. Um, dude, come on, man. If, if you're using an easy curl bar and you're doing some old school skull crushers with with an easy curl bar, and you take those tries to failure, come on, man. If you want to do a superset, you just do a couple of reps with, with <clears throat> some close grip bench. That's what we did in the old days. I don't do that now. But, hey, when I was a kid, that, that was a staple. Skull crusher supersetted with fucking close grip bench with an easy curl bar. I mean, come on, man. You want to get big? You you exhaust the tricep with the with the skull crusher, and 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 then you 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 superset with the close grip bench, and you use your chest to to, to take the tricep further into failure. I, I think for beginners who, who want to bench press a lot, that might be one of the best supersets known to man. If not the best superset known to man. One of my other favorite supersets is um, dumbbell lateral raises, and then and then doing shrugs. You want to put some blood in your upper back? Do some lateral dumbbell lateral raises. And then superset with barbell shrugs. Those two supersets right there help you become a monster. Hi, Zach. I'm your father. Thoughts on Coth Andrew? I haven't thought about Coth Andrew in a long time. I have no idea. He's probably still at Palm Beach Gym, but I was like that guy. What a good guy. Oh. 
goddess Jennifer. I like Jennifer's, the porn she did. Grace Murray, how many reps of 185 before two wheels? Dude, are you one of those people that call 45 pound plates wheels? Stop doing that. <clears throat> Jennifer overrated. Dude, she's an older woman. She, she, She's got to be f minimum 40, if, if not a few more. She's pretty fucking foxy for being over 40. And for being over 40, her body is fucking really good. Liz was the hottest. I don't even know who Liz was. Thoughts on benching three wheels on a side. Fuck you guys with this wheels thing. That's so gay. Who the fuck was Liz? Liz and Tamika were into Prince Andrew. I remember Tamika. I really didn't. <clears throat> that nerdy girl. I, I don't know. I can't, can't. Tamika pegged Lenny. What woman doesn't want me? I don't remember Liz. Uh. That looks like a Walmart shirt. Well, it's a real Nike shirt. This shirt is old as fuck. Michigan was, was one of the first Nike schools. In fact, you go back to the uh, 1990s. I think Michigan and Florida State Seminoles were the first two Nike schools. So... Don't fuck around with me, motherfucker. I got some authentic gear. And then um, Michigan left Nike for a little bit and, and went and became an Adidas school, which was really gay. And um, when they left Adidas and, and came back to the Nike family, they didn't just come back as Nike. That's when they came back um, with the premier um line uh, with the Michael Jordan logo, Jumpman 23. What's a better weapon, a knife or a skateboard? Uh, I'm not going to answer that. If some of you clowns just keep saying skateboard. Yeah, Oregon Ducks, yeah, that that's 
Oregon Ducks is a huge Nike deal. Valerie punches Grace. Fuck you guys. Tech nine or Uzi. You know, I really don't know anything about the Uzi. Isn't the Uzi is Israeli made? Um, Tech nine. I. That's a Florida weapon, I believe. Tech nine. And Walther is better than Uzi. Yeah, I'm not going to waste my money on a Walther. Dude, he, here, here's Big J's philosophy on fucking handguns. I like my automatics, Glock. I like my revolvers, Ruger. Simple. Give me a Ruger revolver or a fucking Glock automatic, and I'm fine. Yeah, I don't care if the bread is better. See, I'm a simple man. Glock is a simple weapon. Do you watch rugby? No, I don't. Sorry, but what's a better gun? A skateboard or a skateboard? Definitely the Glock. Chuck Basher wants to see the wasp spray. It's right here. Still got it. This, this, shake it up. This, this is the best thing for anti-BLM. You, you want to come, come climb on my truck? Put your face in my window? If I put my window down and shoot that in your eyes... You're probably blind for life. <sighs> KCI Sniper just said they're blind forever. I would think so. I mean, this stuff is so destructive. It, it... Upcoming violation. 
14 hour workday limit, 11 hour driving limit. Drinks. Huff it. I, oh, God. Why, why can't we get the red kind of athletes start huffing wasp spray? Start a rumor that wasp and hornet spray is anabolic and get the red kind of athletes huffing it. Jay, would you rather be strong and die young or be frail and live to 100? Um, dude, I'm not strong anymore. Um, so it's a trick question. There's there's no correct answer. Um, it, I, I don't plan on being frail, but I'm not strong anymore. But I'm gonna keep battling. I'm never gonna let myself become frail. So, right, KSI Sniper said you can't get drunk when you're dead. Right. If I gave you $1,000, could you name three people that like you, not counting your mom? Uh, yeah. The conservative Cuban, <clears throat> Prince Andrew, <clears throat> well, uh, I might only have two. I only got two. Can I get 500? Lenny, yeah. If you had to trade lives with one of the other misfits, who would it be? Uh, probably Emma. Um, and, and, and then I, w I would just get an only fa fans page and um, I, w I would completely whore myself out and um, I wouldn't even let, it, let them, I, I would find submissive men and I wouldn't even let them near my pussy. Like I would, I would find losers that, that would give me, you know, money to just, you know, suck my toes or, or put my socks in their mouth while they, while they jack off or, 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 or find some fucking masochists that want me to squash their nuts. Uh, or maybe the taco queen. If I could be the taco queen, I could fuck Brad in the ass with a strap on. That would be nice. And squash his nuts. And make him suck my toes. And put my dirty socks in his mouth. Plus, Brad likes to drink. Brad likes to fucking eat well. Brad likes to go out to eat. He likes to drink. He's always got weed. So I, I, I think I'd like to be the taco queen. It, 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 you know, that beard, you know, that scratchy feeling when someone tosses your salad. 
you know, I'm, I might get, I might get to like that. If you could go back in time and change one thing in your life, what would it be? Um, I... I can't turn the age restriction off. Other, otherwise, I've already got a. I I forgot to do it one time, and Instagram or uh, YouTube gave me a warning. Um, because this channel is foul. If I could change, go back in time and change one thing about my life. Ugh. Oh, I, dude, simple answer. I would go back in time and every slut that I made fun of or every whore that I laughed at jokes about. I would be a man and, and say, guys, this isn't funny. Fuck you guys and your jokes. Why are you guys making fun of these girls? So she sucked your dick and now you're making jokes about her? Or, you know, this girl, this girl trusted you. You fucked her. And, and now you're making jokes about her? I, I would go back in time and I would be nice to every single fucking slut that I ever made fun of in my life. That's what I would do. Sucks your deck. <laughs> no, but think about it. It, it it's so juvenile to, to make fun of chicks that that give out the pussy or suck deck. You know, go back to junior high, you know, like, at least in my junior high, there were a lot of, lot of trashy chicks. Uh, go back to junior high or, you know, high school, when everyone's making fun of someone, you know, because they were a slut. Just, just think if you if you would have said one or two kind words, like, "Hey, don't let don't let what they're saying ruin your day." That's all you'd have to say, and then and then you got some fucking slut that wants to suck your cock. I mean, come on, man. Would you rather be rich or famous? Um, I'm basically both. So I can't really answer that question. F 
favorite soccer team? Fucking gay. Did you guys listen to the answer to my last question about going back in time and reliving your life? When I said I would go back in time and be nice to every single slut or every single whore that I made fun of, I fucking mean that. And, and, and think about it for a minute, how that would change your fucking life. If you could spend your life in only place, what would it be? Um, I, don't, I don't know. Bed? Because if you're telling me one place, like I'd like to say the gym or the bar, but if I'm not allowed to go to bed, fuck that. One place? I'm probably picking bed. Because imagine being stuck at the gym for your entire fucking life. That would suck. Imagine being stuck at the bar your entire fucking life. That would suck. Bed? Hey, bed doesn't sound so bad. Gracie, Gracie. Grace, you never answered the question. Um, um, um. See, I don't know a lot about feeding tubes. Does that go into your belly? Do you get food into your belly through the feeding tube? So you still do poo-poos in your diaper? I want to know about your diaper. Because... Would you quit exercising altogether for one million dollars? That's a really, really tough question because, I mean, if, if you look at me, I'm so fit. I mean... I'm fit.
Gracie. <sighs> no. Oh my God, we got a Derek Chauvin account calling me father. Someone take a screenshot right now. Fuck, I'm trying to find it. I think I got, oh shit. All right, I got one. Yes. I fucking, dude, I'm usually not that quick when I see new accounts. I fucking screenshot. Derek Chauvin calling me fucking father. Dude. I'm an all-star. Uh, yes. Derek, my son, I taught you well. Derek, you disappointed me. Through the, I, I showed you the proper techniques to give the Negro pain that would not expire the Negro. You defied me, son. Dancing with the Jays. I'm an all-star. Get my game on. I'm so fucking awesome. Father, who's the best dancer among the misfits? Uh, me. And um, uh, uh, the reason I'm going to say me is, is because it, if I said Robzilla, um, you guys would, would take this out of context and then he would get really butt hurt and be all pissed at me. So here's the deal with Robzilla. He, he's very fragile and father has to handle him with kid gloves. So when you ask me a loaded question like that, I can't give you an honest answer because if I would have just blurted out Robzilla, Robzilla would be texting me 45 minutes from now. Fuck you, Jay. I'll meet you anywhere. I'll beat your fucking ass. Fuck you, motherfucker. I thought we were fucking friends. So to avoid all that, I'm going to say I'm the best dancer of the misfits. Does that make sense to anybody? Are you scared of Robzilla? 
Uh, Rob Zilla could probably pound my ass in a street fight. Am I scared of him? No. Could he pound me in a street fight? Probably. Am I scared of him? No. So, you guys can all go fuck yourselves. You know, I'm 52 years old. If Rob Zilla can't beat me up, he, he needs to put a pistol in his mouth. Because he's never going to be anybody. Can't believe I just said that. But I did. Right. Dude. Rob Zilla's fucking in the prime of his life. The, the guy is 6'2", 245. He, he, I mean, come on, man. If, if Rob Zilla can't beat me up, he, he, he takes... I'm 52 years old, bro. I got a torn pack, torn rotator cuff. You know, two two ruined legs. So, if, if if Robbie wants to get all personal, he can go fuck himself. I'll fucking shoot him. I, I, I'm done. I'm done playing nice politics. Don't want to hear war stories, Grandpa. Well, I'm I'm telling you. I'm not fighting Robzilla. Could Zilla beat Cassidy Campbell up? Um I'm not an expert on fighting, but I would say yes. Even though I'm not an expert on fighting, if you guys want to keep asking me questions about fighting, I'd... I'd... <laughs> yeah. Look, I'm going to tell you guys something. I, I've been a bouncer um, at bars, and w when you're a, when you're in your twenties and and you work for the bar, you're pretty much invincible. If you were a bouncer in your twenties, you are gonna win ninety nine. Point nine percent of your fights. Okay. Once once you leave working for a bar, and once you leave your twenties, those statistics go down really, really, and really fast. So, think is 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 Robzilla a badass? Fuck yeah! I'm not going to where he works and causing any trouble. He'll beat the fuck out of me. You you would have to be stupid to go to where Robzilla works and run your fucking mouth. Okay? That's just the honest God truth. But I'm an old man. I, I, I know how I, I know how this plays out. He's not gonna work there forever, and he's not gonna be in his twenties forever. Eventually time catches up to you. So we love Robzilla. We love the Big Lenny show. 
So, whatever. I don't give a fuck. I'm 52 years old. I don't have to be the toughest guy on the planet anymore. Like, I'd rather be friends with people and, and they protected me. Like, I, I'd rather I'd rather be uh, friends with Rob Zilla. Rob Zilla would say, Jay, we're, we're going to go to the Olympia, and if anyone comes near you, I'm going to drop them. That's what I want out of Rob Zilla. That is what I want out of Rob Zilla. I want Rob Zilla to say, Jay, I want you to go to the Olympia with me and Lenny. And we're going to have security. And I know, I know you got blown out legs and a torn pec and a torn rotator cuff. If, if anybody fucking comes near you, I'm going to have my fucking security fuck them up. That's what I want out of Robzilla. Fuck. All right. All that glitters is gold. Father. Hide at Olympia. I'd rather just work, make money. But I'm just saying, an old fuck like me, whose body is is basically crumbling underneath me. Um, I, I, I need a guy like Robzilla that wants to be my muscle. There's nothing wrong with that. My, my body is crumbling underneath me. And, um, you know, I don't have a lot of trust in a lot of people. You know? Would I, would I, we got a Rob Lynn Bailey account, Jesus Christ. <laughs> You guys see that drool come out of my mouth? That was awesome. Upcoming violation, 14 hour workday limit, 11 hour driving limit. Father. I 
I think the Olympia is going to be in Orlando. And, um, I'm going to have massive, if I, if I'm not working and I, I show up at the Olympia, yeah. I'm probably, um, I haven't been invited yet. Um, but I'd like to be at the Muscle Sport Mag, um, booth, and, um, be, be, because, um, uh, my good friend Joe Piataro from Muscle Sport Mag, he's, he's a right, retired New York City cop, re retired n narcotics officer, he, he, dude, I'm such a marked man with people wanting to beat the shit out of me. I I think Joe Piataro is probably the only person I feel safe with. And I I can get I can get Rob Zilla and Big Lenny and the Del Rey Misfits in that booth. You know. L listen up, Rob Zilla. You you think you can do better? Listen up, Big Lenny. People want to kill me bad. So I'm thinking about maybe going to the um, Muscle Sports Mag booth. And I, I don't know if Joe wants to do a, a, a booth with the Delray Misfits, you know, because all the shit about sucking dick and Sucking black dick. So, maybe you guys are on your own, but that's probably going to be the booth where I'm at because I want to be with a cop because people want to kill me. So. Champagne Supernova. <sighs> Whatever. I'm, I, I, Father, forgive us. Yes. Father, I'd love, I'd love Robzilla and Big Lenny to, to join me at the Muscle Sports Mag booth. Um, um, hey, Brad, you're welcome. Your girls, welcome. Andrew, I'm I'm a, I'm gonna do everything I can do to get to the next Olympia because Joe Piataro is my boy, and dude, there's nobody I'd rather be with than a retired New York City policeman. 
And if anybody's got a problem with that, go fuck yourself. <laughs>